All right, what is up, everyone? Time for some more Dark Souls. Um, gonna try to go for the Moonlight Butterfly, which is somewhere around here. Not sure uh, exactly where. Oh, hi. Um, I, I think it's in this area, so I, I don't think I'm too far from it. Uh, as you can see... Gravelord Sword doing some work here. Uh, these guys are awesome to farm, actually. Uh, one reason is the blooming... What you see right there, the blooming purple moss clumps. Um, these will help you out so much when you go to Blight Town if you haven't been there yet. Oh, as you can see, I died out this way. I actually kind of forgot that I died out this way. But, yay for retrieval. I didn't have a whole lot. Um, I know these guys are, I know there's more of these guys, I should say, so I don't want to wake them up all at one time. Damn, they, uh, give me some nice souls, though. 600? I know there's some tree beards around here somewhere. Where are they? Oh, I think I see one. Yep, one, two. Come on. Come on. Really? I can't. Can't do anything about that. Okay. That's cool. I'll, uh... I'll just leave that alone then. Oh. Guess I'm not gonna leave you alone. That's a uh, that's kind of risky in my opinion to just go at him like that, but I felt that I could take him. Oh, and one more. Sweet. Uh. Okay. Now. Sometimes I might actually come here in human form, because if you do, you, there's a there's a summon sign right here. Uh, you can uh, summon Witch Beatrice to aid you in this fight as a white phantom. Um, she's great, because she's a magic user, so she's ranged. And if I remember right, this fight is, oh, I don't know. Oh, that's cool. Look, there it is. Kind of neat. That you can see the uh, precursor to the fight, so to speak. All right, well let's uh let's see how we fare. What up, Mr. Butterfly Man's? Please don't hurt me. Wow. Okay. That was a much better dodge. Oh. Uh, if I, if I remember right, this is all magic damage, so if, jeez, if you can get a magic shield with a high enough, magic, 
resist to it. Then you'll have a much easier time in this fight. Oh, go figure. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Yeah, that's why. Oh, okay. That's not nearly... Not nearly as large explosion as what I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so you saw how much freaking damage I did. Uh, I was two-handing because, well... Why would you not? Jeez. Still taking quite a bit of damage though, even with these blocks and my terrible ability to uh, to roll on some of these. Hmm, still got me. Better. I'm not sure how you can dodge the uh, the quick ones, or if you even can. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, Grave Lord Sword, huge, huge investment. Um. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. You saw <laughs> uh, the uh, the sword doing some work right there. So, it's got to be something up here. Oh yeah, sweet. Uh, not sure what the watchtower basement key is for. Is that... Is that, like, dude's brother? Is that him? In another time? The, the blacksmith in Undead Parish? I don't know. That might be... Might be him from another time, perhaps? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Okay. Well, I've got quite a few souls here that I definitely need to spend. Um, yeah, wow, I still can't get past the, uh, oh, the damages. Not uh, not sure what that guy was doing. The damage is on the uh, on the Grave Lord sword there. Two-handed, oh man, just destroyed the butterfly. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, what? I don't think there's anything else here that I'm missing. I guess I'll go ahead and go back to the bonfire right quick. Spend some souls. And then I think if I come down here... There's a path down there. I'll have to find... I need to go to Sif. And I think he's the other way? Maybe? I don't know. This is, this is one of the most confusing zones to me. 
All right. Let's see here. Do I want intelligence 10 so I can learn? No, cuz I'm not really not really going to be the magic -y, the magic man's. Let's see. Endurance is always good. As is vitality. Let's go endurance. There we go. Yep, these guys are great for those. moss clumps. Uh, the red ones, I think, are for... well... oh shit. I was gonna check. And, uh, you know... Dark Souls and whatnot. Oh. Okay. Let's see what the red... oh, reduces bleeding. That's what I thought. Oh, just the build-up for it. Because once you've bled out, you automatically lose a percentage of your overall health. Up. I don't know, some of these, uh... Let's take you out real quick. Sadness. Okay. Let's see about... Because I think if we go all the way down this ridge... Oh. Is that a lizard over there? Well, yeah, everybody says so. Damn it! <laughs> I missed. I missed with the uh, lunge attack. Of course. I think if you come up this other way, like through this way, you can attack it without it actually noticing you. So you can basically just walk right up on it and kill it. But. Ugh. Oh well. I think it's out this way. Thank god the, uh... The Hydra doesn't come back. Although, I do have to fight these guys again. Oh. You slid down, dude. Come on. Yep. Come on. Hey, look, another player. So much damage compared to my spear. And the if you saw the previous video, you saw it took me like a good, I don't know, minute at least to kill these guys with the spear. Uh, probably part of that was the type of damage. Uh, but the other, the other part of that is... The sword just so much more powerful.
Okay. Um, I, I think these crystal guys are actually... Whoa. Are actually from Seath. Uh, if you notice the... The big crystal bit, you know, kind of like protruding from the from their back is actually supposed to be used to house prisoners to capture people and then they're supposed to come back to Seath and allow him to just perform like random experiments on those people now since the hydra is gone I can actually use this And uh, not sure how to use the Gravelord's Sword Dance. If you see that up there, I was able to slot it as an attunement, but I'm not sure how to actually trigger it. So I don't know if that requires uh, some higher intelligence or what exactly. I've seen it used before, but I've never used it myself. Um, just because I've never... I don't know. Never gone that route with any of my characters, I guess. And I think... Sif is maybe this way? Oh, oh, I remember what's this way. God, these freaking cats are so, so, so annoying. Oh, yeah, you mad now, aren't you? Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah, it's okay. Oh god. I got both of them. Damn it. Oh yeah, that was way, way more damage. Unfortunately... These guys have like... The shortest aggro radius ever, so they back away as soon as I get close to the trees. Ouch. Thanks for that. Yeah, take that. Where's the other one? Okay, there he is. Oh, kick it. Got some good hits on that one. Ugh. Finally. It took me seriously about 10 minutes to kill the first one. There are actually three of them. Uh, one just kind of roams around down here. The other two hang out on that ridge. And uh, last time I just had to, <laughs> I had to basically run along the edge and kind of cut between the trees to get past them. Luckily, this time, that is not the case. And I can continue on. 
It's gotta be this way. I think I'm on now the other side. So if you if you got the seal of Artorius and you open up the gate that's right beh beside the hidden bonfire there, I think this is where you start. Mushroom dudes. What the hell was that? Are they mad now? They just make like a weird noise when they die. Now it still takes three hits, even two handed. Okay. Uh, well. Not, not gonna worry too much more about those dudes since they don't seem to do anything. Gonna use one of these instead of an Estus to heal. It's a little bit riskier. But if you got some to spare, I would do it. What up, yo? Yeah, this doesn't look ominous. Not sure. I'm guessing I probably need to be fairly close to this guy. Ah. Damn it. Uh, I should have rolled there. Yeah. Alright. Yep. That's what I get. Oh, maybe I'll have another chance at the lizard. I don't know if they come back or not. I didn't think they did. A 
few more of those uh, mossy bits. Oh yeah, these uh, these guys will try and grab you. If you are too close to them. Well, at least it's not very far. Oh! Oh, I thought that was gonna be a grab. Nope. Okay, so I think the key to Sif is always trying to be right close to him. A lot of his attacks I was able to dodge. Oh, the lizard is there. I was able to dodge them by just being underneath of him. Uh, obviously he tries to, you know, jump back and run. Yeah! Alright, so... Not a not a total loss for having to run back to Sif. All right. I'm not sure what that noise was. Oh yeah, gotta kill these dudes again. That's fine. Come on. I don't know if these guys drop anything. Doesn't seem like they do, but maybe I've just never had high enough humanity to actually see them drop anything. I don't know. I don't know if there's a difference or not. Is that guy gonna aggro? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, the big difference that I have to get used to now is with the spear, I could always attack and still have my guard up. Uh, with the Gravelord Sword, there's just a little bit of a wind-up to its first attack, and so you have to be a bit more careful, obviously, than what I was. Otherwise, you'll pay for it, so. I, I think I can take Sif. It's just a matter of uh, trying to keep him closer to me, as strange as that sounds. Because once, once he's far away, then he's got the, he's got free reign to just, you know, wind up and charge at me. And I, it'll, it'll probably break my guard every time. I just assume it will. I don't know if it will or not, but... Okay. Yep. Through here. And luckily... I do not have to fight the Gatos anymore. Yay. Just run back here. Is something following me? Nope. Nothing over there. Oh, now the fog wall shows up. Alright. 
So it doesn't look like I'll have another cinematic for that. I'll just have to go straight away and fight him. Which I don't like doing. Because there's that second, yep, like that. Ooh, he still got me. I know my souls are... There it is. Ah. Shit. Yeah, see, this is not what I want to happen. Uh, yep. Because of that reason right there. gosh, I was just like a second too late on the block. Oh, uh, alright. What the hell? Well, there's so many deaths right here. Oh. <laughs> That dude just fell off. I assume these other people did the same. Yeah, well, that's that's what I get. Okay. Pretty close to the edge there. <laughs> All right, took care of that dude. Okay. Well, uh, if you ever wanted to know how to get to Sif. See what is this run number three, I think. I mean he he definitely does a lot of damage. Um but really the reasons why I died were my my own my own fault really. Like I, there's no reason I shouldn't have had my shield up on that one. I thought I was going to be able to get to him before he actually, um, <laughs> wonder if I can skip these guys. We're going to find out. If they followed me? No, nope, they didn't. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I probably could and probably should update my or er, upgrade my armor, but that takes you know time of just sitting there farming souls, blah blah blah. And nobody wants to see that, and I certainly don't want to do that as much as possible, anyway. I know I can beat this guy, it's just a matter of, you know, me not making stupid mistakes. Which is really, uh, really kind of what Dark Souls teaches you all about. Because making stupid mistakes gets you killed. And so Dark Souls is a very harsh teacher. but also a very good one at that. I know that turns a lot of people off to this game, uh, the difficulty being what it is, but uh, really after you understand the game a bit more, then I, I think it's... Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can take your deaths a bit easier instead of people just, you know, rage, raging all the time. Uh, which, don't get me wrong, there are some moments that you're like, oh, damn it. But by and large, there are your own mistakes. And uh, So, let's see if uh, this time we can actually kill this guy, because that'd be nice. Okay. Oh, kick him. Oh god, that... Whoa, buddy. I should have taken a Nestus right there. I know my soul's around here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Damn it. That... That double right there. I really want to see if I can get my souls here. Oh shit. There they are. Whoa. Oh, that's... That's, that's not at all, not at all what I wanted to do right there. If I die, it's completely my fault. Man. Uh, the difference in the two handed to the one handed isn't that great. Exactly what I wish you would not do.
Ah. This is an awkward place to fight him at. Yeah, that's the one. Sorry, puppy. Oh, God. No. Ugh. Can't believe I missed that. Oh, puppy. Puppy. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, the sad thing about uh about this is that Sif is or, or was Artorius's dog and since time is convoluted in Lordran, he's fully grown when you fight him. Uh, but when Artorius has him, he's just a pup. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to stop you from going into the abyss. Uh, because Artorius failed. And, well, Artorius was a badass, so... What chance do you have, I guess? Hornet ring! Sweet. So that was Sif. Um, he is really just trying to stop you from having just a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> but unfortunately, you have to kill him. He gives you the covenant of Artorius. Uh, which will allow you to traverse the abyss. And we'll find out what that means later on. Also, the Hornet Ring. Um, which is interesting. Granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn. Belong to Lord's Blade Sierran. Uh, Sierran and uh, Artorius have some sort of... I think they have some sort of romance uh, that goes on in the game. It's very subtle. But... Just a, an interesting note there. Alright, well I'm going to... Homeward bone out of here. And then spend these souls, because I have quite a few. So, uh, that was Butterfly and Sif, and we'll pick it up next time.